everybody kept saying back office and I didn't know what they were talking about. So if you like me, if you are like me, back office is simply when you log in to your IntelliTravel um, page. So you're in your back office and you go up to help um, where it says this IntelliHelp Hub. That's what you're clicking on. This is their new um, hub for you to be able to track your ticket, see what you've requested, um, and kind of know what's going on. So you get into your support desk and you have my tickets. Now my tickets, this is tickets that you've already submitted um, that you're waiting on a response from. If you are trying to create a ticket, you can do that two ways. You can either hit this create a ticket or up here in the corner, you can hit submit a ticket. It takes you to the same page. Um, this one's just prettier, so I'm gonna click on it. Um, when you are here, even though it says title first, um, I go to ticket type because depending on what I end up typing is what I go back and put my subject as. So I know it probably don't matter, but you know, this is Tina's way. All right, so um, if you're having a booking issue, agent account billing, commission inquiries, um, your invoice request, this is where you're coming for all of this. And if you notice, it's already telling you what ticket type it is. One I want to bring your attention to that we all are probably going to end up using at some point in time is the supplier registrations. So there are certain suppliers that you that are already pre -filled. So if you aren't already with Delta, Fairbus, or G Adventures, you're not already with them and you want to join them, this is where you would come to do your supplier registration. And once you click on it, um, you simply can type in your title, um, supplier registration. Um, however, say you're trying to sign up for um, Travel Agent University and you sign up for it and it kicks it back and says, we're sorry, you weren't approved. Okay, well, this is where you have to then come into supplier registrations. Um, and send that email from your home email or business email, I should say. Um, I'm sorry, my children are so loud. Okay, so your supplier registrations, and you would send this from your personal email. So for me, I had to send the email and I had to say, hey, I um, still don't have access to Travel Agent University and I want to take these trainings. Um, and they create a ticket. Now, when they create that ticket, and I'm going to show you I'm a little messy email real fast, but um, when you create that ticket, it does not show in the hub. However, it does give you a ticket number. If you were to have to call in and check one in or anything like that, once you sign up to supply a registry, if you want to know, did it go through? Did it send? Sure, it'll be in your outbox. But right here where you see that supplier registration, it says that that ticket was created for you. Um, I put my title in as Travel Agent University because I'm so creative. Um, and so that's the Help Hub in a nutshell. Um, again, that submit ticket up here at the top, it's always there. It's on that home page. If you go back over here and hit tickets, it takes you back to any of the open tickets that you have. If you had tickets that had closed, you can click on my closed tickets and it'll show you your past tickets. Um, you can click right here and go back to your dashboard and it has all of this general information for you here. So that is your Intella Help Hub um, in a nutshell. So make sure that you are going there for any questions that you have, booking, commission, any of that. Um, oh, one thing that I don't know if you guys had noticed, say you know that you have a question, but you don't really know what question you have. Um, say you have a booking issue. They give you suggested questions at the bottom. Um, why didn't I get my um, get paid my commission? Is is it transferable? I'm having a problem uploading my photo. And these are suggested solutions before you even have to wait for them to respond. Respond because most of the time, whatever you're going to ask, somebody else can already ask. So this is a quick way to get to it. Did it resolve your issue? Yes, no. You can answer, and you can then still send your message if your question wasn't resolved. So just wanted to make sure you guys realized that was there. Sometimes we don't do the extra scroll. Um, and it's always helpful when you can send a picture, especially if you're trying to show them something because visuals are always better. All right. So the second thing that I wanted to show you guys was um, cruises. Um, um, in the departure lounge. Yum, yum, um, a lot of time. Thank you. I'm sorry. So in the departure lounge, um, a lot of people ask questions about booking cruises and how do you know 
who to book with and things of that nature. So I actually really like Intel to travel to find who I want to book with. Now I don't always book it through Intel to travel. Um, I may find who has the cruise that I'm looking for. And then I go to that actual cruise line site. So um, once you get in there and you hit that launch cruise engine, um, sometimes you may have a client that just says things like, uh, I know I want to go for at least five days and we want to leave out of Miami. Uh, I don't really care where we go. I don't really care what cruise line. And you're like, oh, thanks. You're so helpful. Well, I like Intel to travel for that reason, because you can put it in just as generic as they gave it to you. It's taking a second to load. Um, okay, so if you look across the top here, it's going to give you your different titles. So, um, yeah, I want to go sometime in January. OK. So you can set your month. I want to know I want to go sometime in January. I want to go for about five days and I want to leave from Miami. And with that information, you can then hit search. Cruises. It's going to give you a lot, but that's all they gave you to go with. But they also told you they only want to spend like $1,500. So that's going to narrow it down um, a lot. Yes, baby. Okay, tell them you don't like that. All right, so um, it brings up all of the cruises that fall within that from different lines. So all of these are carnival. As you keep going down, you, you'll see that they have... Hey, Xerxes, go close my door. I'm in a meeting. All right, and so you see it goes to Royal Caribbean. Close the door, Xerxes. I can't hear. Go to Royal Caribbean. It kind of shows all of them there. You can even compare them. Um, you can even compare them. Um, um, let me see if I can find it. Uh, all right, so here it is. So when you're here, if you hit that little plus sign, say I want to compare this Caribbean with Carnival. And if you notice it, put it in that bottom tray. And I want to compare them to the Caribbean Western with um Royal Caribbean. And then I'm going to try to find me one more. Um, and when it gives, when you actually do the comparison, it puts them side by side, which I really like. Oh, here's a Norwegian. We'll do a Norwegian. Um, and then you hit that compare button down there. And so now it has it side by side. You can see which ship you're looking at. You can see the itinerary. They all are starting from Miami. You can see that they have their fun day at sea. They're going to Cozumel. Ooh, they're going to Jamaica. I think my clients might really like going to Jamaica a little bit more than they want like going to Mexico. Let me see what they have over here. Uh, they go to Mexico too. Ooh, and Bahamas. Ooh, but they go to Bahamas and Jamaica. I think I'm going to go with Royal Caribbean right now based off the itinerary, but let me keep looking. So I can see the days, the nights. I can see, oh, they all right around the same price. Ooh, not Norwegian. They're not in the same price bracket. So let me just go back over here to Carnival and Caribbean. All right. So you can kind of see um, everything side by side. And so I decide, you know what? I'm going to go with Royal Caribbean. Um, you can book it straight from here. There are some benefits to booking it straight from Intel to travel. Um, it depends on what insurance you're going to use. If I know that I'm going to be using the um, insurance from um from alliance if i know i'm using alliances insurance i book it in intelli travel just because it's easier you can do it all from the same site if i'm booking it and they want royal caribbean's insurance i go to royal caribbean's website if it's norwegian i get points with norwegian and so i book it directly through norwegian i haven't finished royal caribbean just my personal thing so i would probably book the royal caribbean right here in intelli travel um but say I want my client to choose. I can take these three comparisons and 
I can say, you know what, I can share this link out to them and they can look at it and they can compare it themselves. If you have that type of client who's wanting to look and see it, sometimes, you know, you just have the client that's like, just find me something and send it to me and shoot me over that quote back. Um, but um, that is pretty much the nutshell of once you are booking in the back office, you can see all of the cruise lines, you can see what they offer, and it shows you the deals. Um, even though this wasn't the one I went with, I just want you guys to see, because I know some things that we worry about, I oh, will know because they have onboard credit, and I'm not going to get the onboard credit if I book through IntelliTravel. I don't know if it's always been this way, but I did notice when I made my booking a couple weeks ago, it actually pulled in all of the promo codes, including the gratuity and the onboard credit, um, and I was able to get my mother-in-law and on her way with her little buddies um, this November. Um, but it shows you everything here. You have your deck plans, your state rooms. It lets you drive down and see all of the information that you need on the regular site. As you continue going through the book, it does make you put in um, their names before you can kind of go further. Um, I'm just going to you even if these are wrong, you get another opportunity to change it when you put in their birth date, et cetera. Um, we'll just say they're in Alaska. Now it really does matter where they're from. Different states have different benefits and things like that. You can click if there's military specials, you can put in their passenger numbers for whatever cruise line, just in case they have points there. Um, and as you go through, it'll now show you all of the rates based off of what you put in. If they were senior citizens, if they were military, if they put in a carnival code and it was for carnival, any rates that would apply to them are going to show up on this next page. Um, for you to be able to see everything that you have to offer them. Um, okay, so it shows the different rooms and the different options that they have. So it's saying with the different fares that they have, and it tells you if it's non refundable, and make sure you let your clients know if it's non refundable because if it's non refundable, you definitely don't want to book in unless you give them insurance because nobody wants that headache, personal opinion. but you know, um, but yeah, it shows you all of the different fares that you have, all of the different codes, if it's a special fare that you can put in. Now, when you click this price that it has here, it'll actually break it down for you even more. What gratuities are due, what, how much it was for each passenger. It tells you the due date. It tells you the final. Um, somebody else was asking about posting deals. When I'm posting a deal, I take it straight from here. This is what I put in. This is your deposit. This is when it's due. This is your final. This is what I send out on the quote before I even get through everything else. So um, I don't know if I was talking fast. I don't know if you guys have questions, but you are welcome to come off of mute or drop them in the chat. Nobody? Thank you, T. Anybody? Anybody have any questions, you guys? We're right at the 15 minute mark. So if you guys have any questions about anything travel related, you can feel free to come off mute or you can drop it in the chat and we will definitely get your questions answered for you. Um, doesn't matter if you're a new business partner or a seasoned business partner, let us help you get your questions answered so you can be on your way. Um, has everybody updated their website, uh, their personalized website with IntelliTravel? Uh, be sure to update your city and state. Um, <clears throat> one of my agents told me a couple of days ago that some lady found her on the internet. She was searching for a travel agent in her city and her client was able to find her by her city and state based off of her, what she had on her, it pulled up her IntelliTravel um, information. So make sure that's up, updated, you guys, because people um, get online and they randomly search for travel agents in the Atlanta area or the uh, Alabama area or whatever. So be sure you've updated that. Um, be sure you you've updated that that it has your picture, your photo picture, your, a clear picture of you, a clear headshot. Um, you go in and update the background every now and then. Um, I know I update mine like every three months or so with a new picture. Um, of course, you know we look different every now and then. Um, you know the background picture and things like that. So let me check the now can help me. Okay, can you explain the rate codes for cruise lines? Um, each cruise line has different rate codes. 
Um, there is a PDF inside of Dream Team um, that has rate codes for Carnival um, on them. And it's pretty much a thing you're going to have to log in and click each one of them and see what they mean and read them. Because again, the rate codes change at least, I know for, for the most part, every month. Um, and some stay the same, like the early saver, that's always going to be low deposit. That's going to be um, the $50 deposit. That's going to be the onboard credit, that type of thing. Um, but like, I'm not real familiar with Norwegian because I don't really book a lot on Norwegian. I normally use just Carnival um, because I'm I'm comfortable in selling um, Carnival. So that's pretty much all I promote um, at the time at this time. So I can't really give you a lot of detail um, about codes for anybody else other than um, Carnival. I know Carnival. The early saver is PEB, and that means like if they book in three or three to five months in advance. Um, and it comes with the price protection, which simply means um, it, it randomly checks the price to make sure it doesn't go down. If it goes lower, they'll give them the credit. Um, early saver is also non-refundable, non-transferable, and you can't do any changes on it. Um, if you have to change anything on the early saver code, it's a $50 fee, um, and the remainder of the deposit stays on the booking, um, and the client has 24 months um, to rebook if they have to cancel. Um, the fund select, which I think is PNS, um, is it's an upgrade assigned at the time when they check in um, at, at Carnival. That gives them like a free room upgrade. Super Saver is non-refundable, which I think is PSB, if I'm not mistaken. It's non-refundable, non-transferable, and it's due at the time of booking. That means like the whole total amount is due. They can't do like a payment plan. Um, pack and go, that's another one that I use a lot, which is PU, PUG, and that's for like last minute inventory. Um, that's somebody trying to book within like three or four days or something like that. And it's full, it's if the you know, host the cruise ship is full, it's non refundable. Um, the inner line that's my favorite, which is for travel agents, which is PGI, um, and that's reduced travel partner rates. It's available on most sailings. Um, and with that, with the inner line that's for travel agent rate, it allows you to get up to two cabins. Um, and the rate code PG3 is for travel agents too, but they you can book them on the same ship. So if you and your family, your cousin going, you can book you with PGI and you have to book your family with PG3 so they can still get that reduced rate with you. And then, of course, the military rate, um, that's like the month long promotions, um, the senior rate, and it has to be 55. The resident rate, which based on what they live and the promotion and, you know, other things like that based on their VIFP number, that's um, also um, <clears throat> will be listed when you enter their um, the information on there as well. So when it comes to Carnival, they have tons of rate quotes and they change so frequently um, because, again, they always updating and giving you new deals and things like that. So that's kind of like the vendor that I focus on the most because the deals are always good unless somebody, you know, comes to me and asks, you know, for a specific one. But um, I look up Royal Caribbean rate codes and drop them in the chat to to, um, to give them out because I know I don't use it a lot, but I'll make sure it's in there so y'all can have it. I hope that answers your question, Will. All right, it did. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Anybody else have anything travel related? Any brand new business partners that may be struggling with anything, creating a group, doing giveaways, um, you know, attending webinars, trainings, and things like that? Tina, will you go to Dream Team Society to the event section, please? <clears throat> if you guys have not noticed, I have been. Um, I know a lot of everybody is busy working and things like that. And sometimes I know everybody gets kind of sidetracked with the chat sometimes. And some people even have it on do not disturb or ignore. Um, but for whatever reason, I started uploading the events that I have found in the event section of Dream Team. So if you are on Facebook and you check at least check the groups every day, um, you'll see there in the event section, um, there are some uh, trainings. Um, and meetings and things like that, reminders. So it's not so you can't say, "Oh, my sponsor didn't let me know" or anything like that. We already they're already in there. So if you accept the invites, 
you'll you'll get reminders about the event. And so like we have trainings, I have like all the Sunday meetings in there. I have some webinars that I found. Um, I put in the event section uh, for you guys to have to be notified of. So anytime you guys see an event um, or a webinar, you can go to the event section of Dream Team Society and create an event and put the information in to share with everybody. So you know you can let, they can be knowledgeable as well. And if you're not comfortable doing that, you can reach out to me at, or anybody any other admins in the group and let us know, and we'll create the event for the training so everybody will be aware of it um it's just sharing the information you know what what's going on you know around the uh, you know in the travel industry uh and it takes less than five seconds as tina is right here on the information you can see right there every sunday um i have the travel agent orientations uh we have like the royal caribbean webinar that's going to be talking about their flights. so if you want to book a cruise and your people need a flight then that is you know this is a great time to take that webinar to kind of learn about it so it's tons more listed so you just go to the event section and join those and send those reminders you can share those to your tax straight from the group link, the event link, so they can get the webinar to register and everything that, that they need uh, right there. So um, that concludes our travel agent orientation for today, you guys. Um, Tina went over our help, our new hub, help hub. So those of you that are experiencing commission issues or booking questions, or you have questions about, are we partnering with this vendor? You'll use that new IntelliSpark, um, not IntelliSpark, IntelliHub question uh, portal that they just updated for you guys is way it's quicker it's, it's way more detailed way more informative and you'll get a faster response um, and it'll also let you know again when you submitted it when it went through if somebody's seen it and all of that good stuff so thank y'all so much for tuning in thank you again Tina for hosting um, thank y'all have a great great Sunday go ahead and get your deal schedule for the week get your groups um, popping get your giveaways together um, your destinations, get your, you know, get everything together that you need um, so it can be a productive week. Um, and thank y'all so much for tuning in and see y'all next week.